news to me. <laughs> Going live in three, two, one, and welcome to another beautiful Wednesday. Once again, we're here at the Tower for Arms Day Loda, brought to you by, you know it, Zeus for Omega here. And here we are, kicking in at the Tower with Banshee, and let's see what he has for us this week in weapon orders for Arms Day Loadout. Well, let's begin. Good time to come. First off, we have the Amalon Desian RF4 Fusion Rifle. Let's check out the perks on rank 1. Let's start out with the sights. We got the Spark IS-6 and Flash h 4 Not bad. Let's see what the perks. We have Army of 1. Ooh, Accelerated Coils. That's not bad. With Injection Mold, Underdog, yeah, Underdog, and Danger Close. Hmm. Not bad. I really like the accelerated coils. Underdog and data coils. They're good ones to complement in Army of One. That's not bad. May take the penalty of impact just to have that faster charging rate. But well, that's pretty nice. First one off the bat is pretty nice. Let's check out rank two before we make our final decisions. Check out the rest. Maybe another one would be a good one also. Alright, alright. Kennel IS-2, Flash HS-2, or HS-4. This one comes with a Grenadier, Lightweight, Oil Frame, Unflinching, and Danger Close. Alright. Let's check out rank 3. We got the Spark IS-6 and Torch HS-2. Ooh, target acquisition. Not bad. We got Army of One with Lightweight and Handlaid Stock. Underdog in Danger Close. Hmm. Underdog, Danger Close, Handlaid Stock. Army of One. Alright, I see here. We have almost the exact same fusion rifle as for two determining perks. The first one had accelerated coils, and this one has Lightweight. And I believe the other one had injection mold, and this one has highlight stock, which both take like a penalty to range it, but it also increases your stability. Wow. Okay, this this could go either way. Let me check the first one and see if it was injection mold. It was. Hmm. Wow. This is a good fusion rifle. Either rank 1 or rank 3 are both determining good builds. They'd be great in PvE and PvE. They both have the underdog and army of 1, but I'm leaning towards rank 1 just because of accelerated coils. They may reduce your impact, but that charge rate... <laughs> This is definitely my pick, but you go either with one or three, but I'm picking one. See if the sights need adjusting. Next up is the Herja Deep Pulse Rifle. If you guys <laughs> saw the live stream of the patch or the upcoming patch next Tuesday, you may want to get yourself a heavy pulse rifle. They're, they're coming back in play. But before we get on to update 5.0, Point, or 2.5.0.2 let's get back to the weapons all right first up rank one We've got the GB irons with the long uh, LC range you got head seeker counterbalance with snapshot fitted stock and handlaid stock oh they're all fucking awesome you got the damage, you got the counterbalance to get that lateral. Oh my god, snapshot. Definitely, I probably will run it for Handlight Star to get the stability. I may take the reduction in range, but. If they had something other than fitted stock, something better. Hell, even Brace Frame would have been a nice one. 
I already reduced the mag and get the stability. Not mess with the range. Just looking at this counterbalance, heavyweight stock, head seeker. God damn, this is an S tier weapon right here. Yeah, there's a lot of good weapons this week. Let's check out rank two. Alright, G8 post sites, SD thermal, head seeker, Zen moment, high caliber rounds, fitted stock, oil frame. Not bad. Let's see. Rank three has GB iron, SD thermals again, surrounded, range finder, snapshot, hand loaded. And oil frame. <laughs> uh, these two are semi decent, but oh, rank one is freaking awesome. Head seeker, counterbalance, handling stock, fitted stock for the stability. Even got the snapshot just to aim quicker. This is this is a great, great, great freaking pulse rifle. I'm definitely going for rank 1 for the Herger D Pulse Rifle. Alright, next up we got the Soros. JLB 42 Rocket Launcher. Let's see what they have for us this week. Rank 1, we got Aggressive Launch, Smart Drift, Hard Launch. Let's see. Single Point Sling, Speed Reload, Spray and Play, Javelin, Quick Draw. Only thing good on here is Javelin. Next up, we got Confident Launch, Smart Drift, Hard Launch, we got Heavy Payload, Ferro Magwell, Reactive Reload, oh that's not bad, Perfect Balance, Snapshot, none of these seem good yet, two of them already had like the Spray and Play Reactive Reload thing. Confined launch, soft launch, hard launch, single point sling, flare magwell, vacuum, perfect balance, quick drop. Oh my god. No good rocket launcher this week. Not like the, what was it, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago I had some awesome rocket launchers. Well, apparently there's no, no good JLB 42 this week, so I highly recommend saving it. If you were looking for a good rocket launcher, save it. Wait till next week, maybe get something better, or just pick one, break it down for parts and marks. Alright, comes in that point in the video. Do a quick swap to the Warlock, get the last two weapons. Which I believe they're two auto rifles, the Surls, the 41 and the 45. Well, I'll take this moment of transition and just always do what I do. Thank you guys for watching. Glad to see you guys to support this. If you're catching the replay back on YouTube, please do me a solid. Do what you guys do best. Leave comments, like it, share it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. And we'll just keep this going. Because I like to hear you guys' comments, give me some ideas, there's some things I want to do more in Destiny and upcoming games like uh, Horizon Hero Dawn or Zero Dawn. Uh, we got Mass Effect that's coming up. Still thinking about the Wildlands, see if you guys would like to enjoy some gameplay from that. Kind of branch out, do some other game videos. You guys let me know in the comments. And I'm definitely going to do that freaking, uh, that update that's coming up, 2.5.0.2. Definitely going to do some heavy testing with all the weapon archetypes. Because I watched the live stream and there's some changes for the better and some I kind of wish they didn't change. 
but that's for a video for another day. Let's see. We got the Searles ARI 41. Okay. Let's check it out. We got the SLO 12, SPO 26, SPO 57, high caliber rounds, feather mag, speed reload, small bore, and hidden hand. Not bad. Hmm. You could do some work, but I wish they had the SPO 28. One of my favorite sites. But let's move on to the next. Let's check out rank 2. And once again, SLO 12 sites with SPO 26, SPO 57, perfect balance, appendage mag, speed reload, injection mold, and outlaw. Perfect balance and outlaw. Let's see what we put the middle. I don't really want to lose range, but stability. Hmm. We'll leave that bacon in the back of the mine. Let's check out rank 3, see if it has anything good. SLO 12, there we go, SPO 28, that's a good check right there. SPO 57, we got Hammer Forge, Feather Mag, Speed Reload, Reinforced Barrel, and Hidden Hand. Hmm. Target Acquisition, a little bit more Target Acquisition. We got Range and Range. Hell, I think the range will max out. Oh, not max out. The range will cap by the stability if you do reinforce barrel. This could be a devastating assault rifle. Especially with a new update on Tuesday. At least they got a major buff across the board on everything. Yeah. For the Searles AR, ARI 41, highly recommend rank 3. That's where you point that thing. What's next? The 45? Yep. Let's check out rank 1. SLO 12 with the SPO 28. Nice. SPO 57. This one comes with high caliber rounds, appendage magazine, snapshot, small bore, and range finder. Not bad. Range finder, small bore, high cab. <laughs> With the SPO 28 sights, that could be a good, good pulse. Good pulse. Good <laughs> auto rifle. Well, let's check out the next one. Rank 2. SLO 12 with SPO 26, SPO 57, not bad. Perfect balance, oil frame, snapshot, injection mold, and partial refund. Well, I think it was good here with perfect balance and injection mold, but... No, no, no. Let's see. Soros ARI 45, rank 3. We got the SLO 12, SPO 26 with the SPO 57. This one comes with fitted stock, cask and mag, single point sling, reinforced barrel, and range finder. Hmm. Range finder. Well, if you run f reinforced barrel, with fitted stock, it'll probably be close to having the stability to, to where it was, but probably reduce it just a little. The range finder. Hmm. What about the first one? Between 1 and 3, let's check it out. Because they both come with range finder. Small bore and high caliber. I wonder if they're going to fix that. It says reduce magazine size, but it says it will increase it every time you highlight it.
out of between one and three, I think one is better because you got the cipher, you got the SPL20 for the improved target acquisition, you got high caliber rounds, you get the stability and range from small bore and range finder. Of course, you get a, a decent boost with rifle barrel on the other one, but I feel this one would be more effective. So I'm choosing rank one for the ARI 45 this week. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one, okay, Benji? Let's check out the field test weapons of the week. Got an auto rifle to use against the Cabal. Got an auto rifle to use in the Crucible. Let's see what about the hand cannon. Precision shots. Not bad. Let's see. Pulse rifle is used against Crucible players. And precision shots with another pulse rifle. Not bad. I think that's what. Two in the Crucible, three in the PVE. Alright, let's check out orders for next week. We got the Artemis D Auto Rifle. We got the Searles DSI 43 Scout Rifle. We got the Searles JLB 47 Rocket Launcher. We got the Ophi Aurora D Sniper Rifle. And the Arene RR4 Sniper Rifle for next week. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching Arms Day Loda. I hope you pick up your weapon, choose one of your favorites. Catch you in the next episode. See you next time, Guardian.